Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and you guys remember like a couple months back, we literally all unanimously agreed that uh, spying was wrong, okay? Microsoft launched this one feature in beta called Recall, where basically they were just periodically taking screenshots of your actual desktop, so you could go back in time and see just what kind of goofy stuff that you were looking at, okay? That, uh... That, uh, that, that, uh, that, that risky website on the internet that you decided to go to? Yeah, we've got that right there for you to store. You can go right back in time and see just what stuff you were looking at. Oh, were you shopping for something wild? You know, six months ago, you can go right back in time and see exactly what you're doing on eBay. Yeah, it's one of those, like, rewind features that I guess people would think is kind of cool and futuristic. You know, if they, if they, if they uh, thought of the old days of, like, sci-fi TV shows. And then they quickly realized that, you know, maybe my computer taking photographs of everything that I'm doing probably isn't a really good secure idea. And of course, one of the issues that happened was at the time, you know, when recall was basically being tested, I made a video where I actually enabled the feature on my system. And uh, I showcased that it wasn't really something that was, uh, you know, out of the realm of possibility for most systems. A lot of systems, even if they didn't have crazy AI level features, could easily capture screenshots on your system and quickly parse them and basically see what kind of text or images existed. So they can, you know, use this feature to go back in time and see what they were doing. One of the big problems with the recall feature for anybody who doesn't remember was that it was easy for you to grab information, all right, and exfiltrate it for a hacker to be using, okay? Now, in some cases, you could absolutely use the recall feature and possibly get personally identifiable information. Hey buddy, did you enter an address somewhere? <laughs> did you go to the tax revenue agency of your country? Do you uh, enter in something that could potentially be used against you? Yeah, it would capture that. And basically, if a hacker would exfiltrate that information, they could look through a built-in database and look through those images and basically examine, you know, actual information. So obviously, Microsoft had massive egg on their faces. Like, literally, there were actual, you know, proof-of-concept attacks on this system that proved how stupid of an idea it was at the time. Now, again, the reason I'm mentioning all this, do you think that the largest tech company in the world, Microsoft, one of the largest, do you think they realized, oh my God, wait a minute, oh shit, maybe we were wrong, guys. Maybe we shouldn't be doing that. And they decided to scrap the idea and move on. Or, or do you think they decided, yeah, let's just bring it back, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. So according, uh, you know, to an update they actually had over here, they are bringing back the actual recall feature with a commitment to delivering a trustworthy and secure recall preview experience on Copilot. For customers, we're sharing an update that recall will be available to Windows insiders, okay? Basically, beta testing cuckolds in the Windows world. Starting in October, as previously shared on June 13th, Man, that's actually pretty close. I was saying months, but time moves quick. We have adjusted our release approach to leverage the valuable expertise of the community prior to making recall available for all these Copilot Plus PCs. So all those computers you see on the market that run on those Snapdragon Elite processors, you know, kind of the competition to like Apple's Mac M1 processors, those ARM-based systems that, you know, genuinely, if you're using a laptop, bro, any laptop that can last like a day doing relatively complex tasks, I mean, seriously, it's a pretty impressive piece of kit to have. Now, when it comes to Windows, this feature is probably one that nobody wants to have. Now, there are some good benefits to it, okay? So I wanted to go over this stuff, even though I think overall, this is really stupid. First off, you actually have to opt in. So Microsoft has basically made the Surgeon General warning right here and said, listen, pal, we're taking snapshots of your PC. Now, do you consent? And they've given you a whole bunch of benefits like you can find documents. And by the way, those snapshots, pinky promise, they're only on your device. So are you somebody that's worried about the security? Well, even if you have this Windows recall enabled, apparently it uses Windows as like hello technology. 
which is kind of their face ID, facial recognition tech, to make sure that you're actually you before you check this information. And compared to last time when this information was quickly grabbed, thank fucking Lord, someone at Microsoft thought, maybe this requires some encryption. So what they said was apparently these snapshots, scrap shots, <laughs> Oh, I hate this. Will only be decrypted and accessible when the user authenticates. This gives an additional layer of protection to recall data in addition to other default enabled Windows security features like Smart Screen and Defender, which all use AI techniques to help prevent malware from accessing your recall data. So uh, I'm actually glad that, you know, Microsoft decided at least if they were going to be constantly taking a screenshot of your system you know, every other minute and, you know, using that information and parsing it for, I guess, your benefit, uh, even though I don't think there's really much of a benefit to this at all, at least they're deciding to use some relatively proper security procedures in order to make sure that information is somewhat safe. Why this wasn't even there to begin with is actually insane to me. Like you would think one of the largest companies, and Microsoft does good work when it comes to, you know, keeping yourself safe. You know, we've looked at a lot of viruses and we looked at a lot of crazy hacks where Microsoft was involved. Why they would choose to develop a feature like this and not have this basically be addressed from the beginning is a little bit confusing, but one that I kind of have a bit of a theory for, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit of the tinfoil hat on. Okay, I'm gonna be a little Alex Jonesy while we talk about this in the future, but again, all these pilot PCs, these uh, special computers they have, will be secure PCs. So they got advanced security. Again, you know, it's just, it's it's literally, again, just the bare minimum. They can. Most modern computers, most systems you buy off the shelf come with a lot of these built-in security parameters. So they've got the Pluton security processor, which is enabled on all these co-pilot PCs. So they've got this chip to cloud security technology. So again, all designed by Microsoft, their silicon partners, so on and so forth. So apparently this helps protect your data, making it significantly harder to remove from that device. Even if a user is somehow tricked into installing malware or an attacker has an actual physical possession of that exact device that they're trying to get. So again, compared to the last time they actually have some, I guess, security, meaning that they actually have some encryption versus you know the original method of literally leaving it all in plain text. Insane shit, that's how it happened. So basically they said that everything is stored on the device, which again, you really have to be trusting Microsoft here. And I don't think I do trust Microsoft after years of basically them yanking people's chains. Do I think that Microsoft that has this heavy investment in open AI and all this technology, do you think, do you honestly believe that all of this information is really gonna be stored locally? That there's not going to be some processing information that might eventually be sent somewhat back to Microsoft, even if it doesn't identify you? Do you think they're gonna let all that information that could vastly help them in the AI world just sit safely on people's devices? I mean, seriously, do you really think that is going to be the case? So when they say snapshots are not shared, they say that they don't send your snapshots to Microsoft or to other companies or applications. Now, I don't know if that means the training data or the data that is used off of these. So like maybe the actual picture won't be shared, but do I trust that the information that, you know, is processed from those photos, like sentences, websites, common areas that people go to wouldn't be sent back as analytics? I don't know if I trust it. You'll know when recall is saving <coughs> snapshots. So basically they'll give you a little icon, kind of like how most modern mobile devices give you a little green light that lets you know, oh my God, your microphone is active or your camera is active or something, which again is cool. Digital rights managed or in private browsing snapshots are not saved. So when they talk about in private browsing for supported web browsers, you basically have to remember to go into privacy modes if you're logging in or sharing personally identifiable information, which again, you know, if you're using this feature, it's another added, it, it, it's again stuff that I think most people don't really need to have, but Microsoft's deciding to go down this road. You can pause, filter, delete what's saved at any time. And of course they've got enterprise choice, which means if you're buying the most expensive versions of Windows and uh, your big tech company has basically sided with you, 
Uh, I'm sure that when it comes to big companies who are purchasing Microsoft products for their enterprise, probably will never have this feature enabled just for their safety. I can imagine tons of large businesses that go and say, yeah, this is a really stupid idea. Let's not go for it. But I think Microsoft's going to try to keep this thing enabled for as many Norbies as they can, which ultimately is really the market that Microsoft kind of wants to go for. I think ultimately it is one of the dumbest ideas that I've seen ever brought up by a big tech company. And it's one of those things where, you know, I don't want to like go up and say, guys, install Linux. Okay. I sound like a, a nut job now. I sound like somebody that is, you know, ultimately this Linux vegan trying to convert everybody to join my group of people. Honestly, Windows has competition. Linux is there. Now, for a lot of cases, I would say, you know, for those specific anti-cheat enabled games or those specific pieces of software like Adobe, obviously you're still probably going to want to have Windows. But honestly, if Microsoft keeps going down this road where they keep bloating their operating system and putting in stuff like this, I honestly really hope that people genuinely start considering switching to Linux, where you have the opportunity to really cater your operating system to your choice. You don't need to face Microsoft's arbitrary hardware restrictions. And in general, you have full freedom and control. But yeah, Microsoft wants to bring back their one shitty feature. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like it if you dislike it. But I wanna know what you guys think about it. Are you gonna be using Recall? Cause uh, I don't think most people are. Anyways, I'm out.